Hello, I'm Castellan Creed, and today, Color Sergeant Jaron Kell and I are going to investigate the new combined Google Sheets, and then teach any of you maggots who aren't using them how they work. Cue the music. Hello everyone, I'm Jaron Kell. As you saw in Jace's last video, he has combined his two main Google Sheets, the Character Planner and the Legendary Events Planner together. So now you don't need to update both sheets separately. I've taken over this work for today and also added all the new Diamond 1 upgrades to all characters. Ariman and Tyrant Guard are in the Who You Own tab. And finally, a new Legendary Progress tab is now available. Today, Castellan Creed and I are going to show you how they work. And as always, you can find a link to the sheet below. I'll be continuing to update these sheets, so hit that subscribe button and add any requested changes across the Vox to the comments below. Now, a short word from Castellan before we get into it. Do you want 100 free Blackstone? Then type this code into your Refer a Friend screen. Hit submit and enjoy that free loot. This is a one-time offer between me and you, so don't expect to be rolling in this stuff. All right, thanks, Castellan. We'll start by looking at the new tab, Legendary Progress. This is for everyone familiar with the sheets already and just want to see what's new. Following that, Castellan and I will do a quick training session for the new sheet. This will be especially useful for newcomers, but also a good refresher for the rest of you. So with the Legendary Progress tab, you will have seen this in previous videos, as this is how I track and remember my progress between Legendary events. So for the upcoming Shadowson event on October 15th, this is my current progress in green. Anywhere you can see a red square shows where I got stuck and need to improve before the next event starts. I've added some new functionality into the Teams section. Here it will automatically update which teams you have chosen in each legendary sheet. You just need to fill in the core or holes team sections and then it will automatically be added here too. This means when a legendary event is running, I can just focus on this sheet. To add or remove the green boxes to show your progress, just click on the check boxes to add or remove a tick. The red boxes are slightly more annoying, you must type a small X into the box. When you want to clear the X, just copy one of the other check boxes over the top of it. I have found this sheet very useful during legendary events and preparing for an upcoming event where you can quickly see your previous progress, so I hope you will too. First, before we start editing, what we need to do is make a copy of the sheet. To do this, just go to the top of the sheet, click on File and then Make a Copy, and then click on Make a Copy. This will open a new sheet that you can edit. The first tab we can see is the FAQ and Instructions tab. This gives you most of the information you need to use the sheet. It also has a change log, so you can see if the sheet has changed since you last grabbed them. The Who You Own sheet shows a list of all the released alliances, clans and characters, and if you hover over them, you have a link direct to their wiki page. The current rank lets you use the drop-down menu to select the rank of your characters based on what they are in-game. So with my Ultramarines, I have them stuck at Stone 1. For the target rank, this is the rank you are aiming to get to. We need the Ultramarines for the first campaign, so I've set them to Silver 1. The priority lets us know who we want to level first. In this case, it's Bellator first, then Certus and so on. If we want to change the priority around, then just change these numbers as you want and hit the little triangle on the top and select sort A to Z. Last thing on this sheet is the item parts. If you want to be very precise, you can actually mark which items you have got in-game for each character. In this case, I have items 1 to 5 for Bellator and 3, 4 and 5 for Certus. That's not the last thing on the sheet, soldier. You forgot about the advanced options. Ah yes, the advanced options are over on the right hand side of the sheet and allow you to set how much energy you gain per day. Just add a little X with the ones you use. It also lets you pick which type of characters you are collecting shards for, as this will reduce your overall energy you can use for items. Underneath this you can change the average energy per item. Some of our more experienced players may want to reduce the epic amount here, but you can check out one of Jace's earlier videos showing how those percentages work. Finally, on the right-hand side, there is a leveling plan for you if you want to use it. I add in the characters I am focusing on, just so I don't forget. That's everything you need to fill in to get started. If we look at the Timeline tab, we can now see how long your characters will take to level. So Bellator will take roughly six days to go from Stone 1 to Silver 1. And he says roughly, because you can get other sources of items and energy, like items from your guildmates, free daily chests or character events, and energy from tournament rewards, or whenever the developers mess up and have to give us some for free. In the Upgrades tab, you can just see all the upgrades for each character's level, including the latest Diamond 1 items. 
Then we come onto the legendary event tabs. These are split into each legendary event currently available to us. So only on Shi and Shadow Sun right now. In the sheet, you can see the three tracks, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma, then the battles for each, and finally, a long list of characters who are available in each battle. At the bottom of the sheet, you can see an auto-suggested team based on your highest ranking characters available. Then there are two spaces, one of the core teams and one for the holes teams. If you watch my How to Plan for the Next Legendary Event series, you will see me talk more about what these mean, but generally you just want to add in one team per battle in the core or whole space. Then right at the bottom, there is a space for you to take notes of who you want to level based on this legendary event. This is sometimes useful for planning your characters. On the right of the sheet, we can see the characters' total points available from all the battles they can participate in, the number of times we have picked them in the core or whole spaces, and finally, the number of points based on the battles they have been picked for. In the Your Best Teams tab, it shows four different columns. Your best characters in the currently available legendary events, and then their overall score in the first columns. This is calculated from all of the characters you own. Then in the last column, it shows you the score for the characters you picked in the legendary events. Finally, the Best Teams Overall tab is pretty similar to the Your Best Teams tab. The only difference is that this shows the results for all characters in the game. So right now, based on points only, Tyrant Guard, Snapperecker, Angrax, Onshi, and Volk lead the way. That's everything for today. I hope Castellan Creed and Color Sergeant Jarn Kell helped you to understand the sheet a bit better. As always, let me know your feedback, and especially whether you want to see this pair of heroes again in the future.